What's up, amigos? Now we have the aerodynamics of a tank, and this comes from the request of one of your amigos, Dorit123. And this is a particular type of tank. Uh, it was from the Soviet Union, I think. And we have a really cool CFD going on here. So this tank itself, it has the radar on top, and that's a slight addition that you have to pay extra for that, obviously, at the dealership. And behind the tank, you can see that there's a massive wake, as you'd expect. The tanks are not, tanks in general are not aerodynamic at all. They're designed for being cool, not for being aerodynamic, which in this case, they don't intersect because usually being aerodynamic means you're cool as well. But in this case, they somehow managed to not be aerodynamic, but still be cool. So let me know what you think about that. And in the wake we have, there's two major sections, it seems. The first section is from the major base bit. Then behind the turret bit, there is still a wake as well, but it's not nearly as severe as what I might expect because even though this is just like just a big block of mass on top, the flow behind is still a little bit faster than the flow behind the major tank bit. So let's look at the vorticity now. So this is the vorticity clipped from 10 one on seconds to 60 one on seconds. So we can only see the major vorticity happening here. And there is a, effectively a periodic shedding that I can see, but it's not very coherent. So that means that the tank itself, because there are so many little bits jutting out, that there's not like just a continual shedding from one location. There's shedding from all different locations, which means that you effectively have a broadband uh, vortex shedding going on here instead of like a, a specific uh, frequency. What's more, the vortices aren't that, like the vorticity is not that great either, considering that it is a big tank. Um, behind the tank, for example, there's very small vortices and there's only really that major, like almost like a horseshoe vortex over the front that extends downstream. So now we have two Z planes and I did one Z plane, which is going over the top turret bit. And the other Z plane is just below the major tank bit. So it's like where the, um, the tracks are uh, just around that area. And the reason why I did these two different planes is the first one is the top turret bit. It shows you the major wake of this turret. So there is quite a big wake still. Um, but the lower Z plane, the wake is very small. And that is because there's actually no geometry that the, the, um, and it's cutting through, it's actually cutting through a lot of uh, thin air um, or vacant space between the two tracks. It's not actually hitting the major tank bit. So that's why the, the wake there is so small. And so these are two vorticity planes, vorticity planes, sorry. And they're the exact same planes that we saw just before, but now we have the vorticity colored. And what we see this in this tank part, along with the Y plane vorticity plot that we had before, but effectively around the entire tank, there's just this massive um, vorticity envelope like this that en engulfs the entire tank because it is not streamlined at all. It just all the flow is rolling up around it. So that indicates that you may not necessarily have vortices here because it's not a coherent vortex being shed, but it's just vorticity being created in general because vorticity can only be created from a surface. That's a, a law of aerodynamics. And, and fluid mechanics. So that indicates that these like horseshoe vortex looking things may not necessarily be vortices. You have to do a much more thorough analysis on it. For example, a, like a Lambda 2 uh, criterion calculation on these and the vorticity itself does not necessarily indicate a vortex. That's something that's important to remember. So that's in the simulation. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you have any other tanks or any other military or car ideas, let us know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next simulation. Peace out, amigos.